What is going on everyone? It is Hayden here and today I'm going to be teaching you exactly how to get a marketing client. Welcome back everybody to yet another video. Today I'm going to be doing this completely on my computer because that is all we're going to need in order to get our client. They always have a hard time getting clients. So today I wanted to go over a very simple way of how to get clients completely from your home. This is a step by step by step. So this video might be a little bit longer. I've tried to do a lot of the things uh, beforehand, but it may be a little bit longer just so I can go over this with you guys. Now, quick thing before I start, this method works for me. It might not work for you, but it works for me. This is one of my actual favorite methods of getting clients because it, it, you'll see when we start to go, it just works very well. So let's go ahead and dive into the video. The very first step when it comes to finding yourself a social media marketing client or a consulting client or whatever it may be is well finding that client that you want to work with, which is really important. Obviously everyone is going to be a little bit different. Some people might have a different niche than others. I personally in today's video am going to be looking up restaurants. That's who I want to work with is a restaurant. So I just searched up up in the top left hand corner on Google restaurants near me. It's a very wonderful thing. You'll be able to find everywhere near you that is a restaurant or you know, you can do with whatever store you want to work with. But in this case, for this example, we're going to be doing a restaurant. And then I start to go through the reviews and this is very important because a lot of people don't understand like what is a good business to work with. And, in my mind, you never want to choose a business that has poor reviews. Your job as a consultant is not necessarily going to be to make the restaurant's food better, unless you're doing, unless you are a, a some sort of food consultant or, or someone who's going to be completely redoing the restaurant. But for the most part, your job is really just to get them more exposure. So if that's the case, I don't want to have to completely redesign a menu. I want to just get this restaurant a little bit more exposure and actually have them start to get more customers through the door. But I can't do that if they already have really, really bad reviews. So I first of all want to look for something that's got fairly good reviews and preferably not a whole lot of them. Then that's simply because I'm being kind of selfish on that. And if you're looking for someone who's a little bit easier to help, you want to find somebody who's got a little less reviews because that means that you could uh, offer that as one of your services that you're gonna get them a lot more reviews. So I went through all these businesses here. I've got a lot of really good restaurants in my town. I don't know why I live in a very small town, but the restaurants here are just spectacular. The people are not uh, over exaggerating with these reviews on a lot of these restaurants. This one right here is definitely one of my favorites. But for this example, I decided that I would try out the Explorers Cafe. Cause what I did is I kind of went through all these uh, earlier today and I decided that I would pick this one. So the first thing you want to do once you jump on to a restaurant that you think that you might want to work with or a business that you may want to work with, you want to first look at their page on Google here. So I guess I should be pointing this way. You first want to look at their page on Google over here because this information is going to be your starting point. You want to see whether or not one, you are going to uh, really connect with this business if it's a business that you relate with. In this case, we're talking about the Explorers Cafe, which is a cheery artsy uh, spot featuring diverse meals from New Zealand, Spain, India, Mexico, and other nations. I'm a fan of, of Indian food. I'm a fan of any food that is not from around here. So this is something I would really connect with. So, okay, I'm intrigued. They've got good reviews. So the first thing I would do after I've checked this out is I wanna go ahead and take a look and make sure all this information is good. Make sure that everything's accurate on here. There's no spelling mistakes, anything like that. And I'm gonna check out their website because the website, actually I gotta open, open this tab. The website is obviously very important as somebody who's doing consulting online. A website is extremely important for me to take a look at. And what I see on here is, well, I think you guys can agree, this isn't a very good website. I don't like the look of this. This is super plain. This picture could be changed up. I mean, there's not a lot of information on here whatsoever. I think that it could use a bit of a revamp. So now that I've seen all this, I'm like, okay, 
this is definitely someone I want to work with. Let's just check out their Facebook page, make sure everything's good. They do have links on their page to their Facebook. And it's kind of the same thing over here on Facebook. The background image is this blurry image of this shark that, you know, you can see. It's just, to me, this isn't a very good background photo. Uh, the pictures of the food in themselves aren't overly good. They do post fairly regularly. That's one thing I noticed when I went through here. Uh, but some of the photos are also <laughs> not really relevant to the restaurant itself. And then I checked out their Instagram and they have a lot of followers and they get a good amount of engagement honestly for for someone who will barely post 46 likes and uh, uh, it's actually not bad i don't think any of those are fake so <laughs> so why did i go through all this stuff here i went through all of their platforms because i want to compile all of this information and i want to send it over to them so in order for me to do that i had to go through and i wrote all these things down and i started up a little bit of a slideshow here. Slideshows are one of my favorite because I can voice over them. I can uh, make a video with them and put them in the background type of thing or off the side. If I was, you know, sitting over here, I could have the slides going up on this side of me, just talking to them. And I'm able to send this over to the business itself. So let's go through what I go through in my slideshow. And this is what I send over to the business when I'm trying to get them on. So I quickly made this so some of the information I haven't changed yet. But I started off with a main title page, the Explorers Cafe social media audit. How did I get their logo on here? Which I, I'm sorry that the quality of the logo is not that good. Uh, they don't have any high quality photos of the logo. I just took it from here. I saved the image. Unfortunately for me, uh, it did have a white background. And in order to remove the white background, I don't want to make this a very long statement segment. Uh, if you're doing it on Mac, you can just click this here and bam, hit delete, convert it to PNG. There you go. Quick and easy. So anyway, I grabbed their logo. I slapped it on here and I had a title page that says social media audit. I just want to get across to them what it is that I'm sending to them. I haven't really changed all this yet, but then I have in here in this audit we go over overview website facebook page what you can do to improve today whatever you put down everything in here that you have found that you are going to be changing or that you have visions for them i quickly went over on the interview i mean on the overview it says we took a look at your social media platforms to see if there was any improvements we could make we found several small issues that you can work on in order to better connect between you and your customers all the suggestions in this presentation are made to better your business and are completely free for you to use. If you have any questions regarding any of these suggestions made uh, in this article, give us a call. And then you put down your number down here. Now this all is a completely free template uh, on Google, or yes, it's, it's Google Slides. If you want to go to Google Slides, this is a completely free template that you guys can use, and it's a really <laughs> easy one to just kind of throw your information in. It makes it super quick, because one of the main things when it comes to doing it this way, trying to get businesses uh, this way, is that you're gonna find that it is a little bit more time consuming than just cold calling them and trying to set up a meeting. But I enjoy doing all this work up front before even contacting the business simply because I find that I have a lot better success rate when I'm putting in the work beforehand, showing them that I really wanna work with them, showing that I know a lot about their business, versus cold calling them saying, hey, I can help you out when I don't know anything about them. So this is a really important step for me to do, is to sit here and do this. And when you start to do a lot of these audits, you'll be quick. I'm telling you, you could bump one of these off in about uh, anywhere between 30 minutes to an hour, or just simply outsource it to uh, somebody off of Upwork or something, or Fiverr, whatever you choose. Anyway, jumping back in here. Then I started to go over their Facebook page. So I like to, when I'm looking at their Facebook page, like I talked about before, I like to go over a few things. I want to know whether or not, one, they're posting regular, regularly, two, if the content that they're posting is relevant, and three, if it's a high quality post as in the photos are high quality, especially when we're talking about restaurants. It is so important to just have these really Pinteresty, Instagram worthy posts that are high quality taken with a professional camera, not just 
snapshots off of well i mean you can get oh, now you can do pretty well with like an iphone especially some of the newer ones but i want it to be a high quality good looking photo that way when people go onto the page they look at the food they're like damn that looks good i want that not just some crappy photos taken you know so that is one of the things i looked at and, and i put that in this facebook i said that your Facebook page, you have a Facebook page, which is awesome, but the quality and relevance of, of the post could use a touch-up. I try and be super nice when I talk to them. I don't want to be a dick and be like, this all sucks. Uh, that's just not my way of doing it. Maybe that's your way of doing it, but it, for me, it's not my way. So I'm pretty nice when I say this. And after that, I said, I, I always put down a solution. I want to give them a solution. I don't want them to feel as if I'm just trying to tell them everything is wrong. I do give them everything they, 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 they could possibly do in order to better themselves. So I tell them the solution. Try posting at least one high quality photo from one of your amazing dishes, up talking them. I want them to feel good about themselves. I want them to show that I respect their business. Uh, seeing is believing and when people see such a, see a beautiful high quality photo of your food, they're going to believe that it's the best in town. So this solution here, as you can see, I didn't just say post high quality photos. I tried to make it very upbeat, very positive. I want them to show that I am a happy, upbeat person who believes in them. And I'll do this a few different times. Obviously, you changed the number here. I know this is all number one. I do this a few different times. And let's go over this one real quick because this is one of my favorite things to do and it seems to work really well. Simply giving them a, a quick example of what their page could look like with your help and the difference between them is a great way in order to get them to work with you. So as, as you guys can tell, which restaurant would you rather go to? If you just, off the bat, A or B, if you were gonna go to here or here, you're probably gonna choose this one simply because you see a, a this is a, I don't know, piece of salmon or something, um, a high quality photo of food, you can, that gets you hungry. That's what you wanna go see. You're not looking to go to the place with the, the foam shark hanging from the ceiling it just doesn't, if I'm looking for a restaurant, that's not what I'm looking for. So I put in there, problem, your cover photo is the largest image on, on anyone's Facebook page, which means that it, it needs to be perfect. I bet your big hanging shark is the talk of the town, but the image on your page, it looks somewhat pixely and blurry. It also doesn't get me excited to eat. So I tried to tell them what was wrong with it. This image is pixely, it is a little bit blurry. It's not the best photo for their background. So, solution, consider switching up your cover photo to one of the meals you're most known for. Make it the, uh, uh, make sure that it's a picture that's taken on a high resolution camera so it can handle being blown up on your Facebook page. So let's go over where I got this image and why I chose this one, because there is a lot that goes into this. So the reason that I chose this image was I actually went onto their menu over on their website and I just kind of assumed which dish was best. I went to their main courses and then I just simply took, I think it was, you know, what, maybe it was a kiss by cod, I, I can't remember, remember, and I just copied all this and then I threw it into a Google search. So let's say just a North Atlantic cod pan seared. That's all I need. And I'll just throw it into a quick Google search, go to images, and I go to the size and I want it to be a large image. I want it to be a high quality image that I can use. That way when I go and blow this up on the Facebook page and blow it up in the presentation, it looks good. I don't want to tell them, oh, you need to do this, 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 and then not actually follow through myself. So that's what I did here. I made it a high quality, large image and that's what I searched for. So you can see that looks really well on the background photo. And all I did is I just Photoshopped it in there or you can actually do it right on here I think I did yeah all I did was drag the photo in and dragged it on top of that one so you don't need Photoshop you can just use this itself in order to do it then I talked about the reviews because this is something that's also really important to me and I feel like a lot of people overlook this replying back to reviews when somebody takes the time to review a business that you are working for that you're consulting you really want to make sure that if that's the case that you're replying back or that the business is replying back to those reviews because people are taking their time out of their day in order to write this review therefore they should be acknowledged and they need to be uh, known that you appreciate them so i said on here problem people love you and that's far from being the problem but sometimes your loyal customers who leave stellar reviews get forgotten 
there's that version of it, and I could have just said, you're not replying back to people's reviews. Do you see how being a little bit more upbeat and positive can really help somebody out quite a bit with understanding who you are and, and actually listening to what you have to say? If somebody came into your house and said, uh, looking behind me here, you know, the color of that wall sucks. You're gonna be like, oh, yeah, screw that guy, I don't care. If you said, oh, imagine if in this room you change this cup to like a nice whatever gray color type thing, I would listen to them a lot more than I would listen to the guy who said, that sucks. So you want to just be really nice about it. Solution, reply to everyone from one stars to five stars. Everyone who leaves a review deserves a reply. You can learn a ton from reviews like Terry. And I took, this is a screenshot of one of the reviews from her Facebook page. I took a review of this because I noticed that this guy put some construction, constructive criticism in his post. So I was really happy about that. You can learn a ton of from reviews like Terry. Him and his family have been coming to your restaurant for years, which is true. He said three to four years he's been coming there. Uh, this calls for a pat on the back because you know she didn't reply to him. If somebody's been coming to your restaurant for three to four years and leaves a review and gives you a five star, they deserve a bit of a reply. Hell, they even deserve, uh, honestly, if it was my restaurant, I'd be like, hey, come in for a free appetizer or something. You know, I would honestly go out give something to that person because that's the type of customer service I want to uh, give to somebody. Let Terry know how much you appreciate his loyalty by commenting back on his review. Oh, and maybe ask him how you could improve on the patio as well, because he said in here uh, that the atmosphere is unique, their, pa their patio, not so much. I have seen this restaurant, their patio does kind of suck because it's in a back little area, so it's not a very nice patio. It could use some renovation, so it would be good for her to ask, or the, um, the business owner, sorry, to just ask Terry here in the comments say, you know, thank you so much for, for everything you've done or thank you so much for coming to my business. I really, really appreciate it. You know, next time you and your family come, just show me this screenshot of this and I'll give you guys a free app or, you know, 20% off your next meal. Also, what do you think we could do to, in order to improve our patio? Please, you know, you're, I would love to hear your input. That's a huge difference. That is going to really, first of all, you're going to learn a lot from what he has to say about the patio because maybe that isn't some, that's something that you've kind of been like putting off. You never really thought it was a big deal, but when you see it coming up on reviews, it's a good idea. And um, also then you're kind of, then you're really going to incentivize Terry here to come a lot more with his family. And that ends up being well worth it. Giving away something for free or giving something uh, incentive or even just replying back to him is gonna make him feel a lot more connected with the restaurant itself. I know that if the business replies back to my reviews, I love re leaving reviews on things all the time. When they reply back to my reviews, I always uh, tend to go there a lot more, especially if it's a positive thing. I'm like, yeah, thank you. You know what, thank you for appreciating that. I, and I like going there. So moving on from there, uh, I, I like to transition into something. I like to, if I'm going to start a new subject, I like to kind of do a transition. Never before has it been more important for a restaurant to have a stellar website. We took a peek at yours and have some helpful tips that we know you'll like. So the website side of things, depending on who you are, might not be your forte. For me, it's not really my forte at all. I'm not a good web designer, I don't think whatsoever. But I still like to put a little bit of an example of websites in here because it shows that you're really, really uh, serious about it. So, where is the food? Food is your business, so why isn't it on your website? I'd absolutely love to see some images of your popular dish on your website so people can see what you're serving. Obviously, and I put a screenshot of their website over here. Their website looks like, to me, it doesn't look very nice. I don't like it. So in the next one, I put, your new site could look like this. And I made, as you can see, it's the same background photos before. What I did here is I just went on to, this is really, really quick. Honestly, guys, this takes you no time at all to do. I went on to squarespace.com, and this is not a plug for Squarespace, but I think they have an affiliate program, so I'm going to leave a link in the description down below. If you'd like to go over to Squarespace, click the link in the description down below. Um, I went on to Squarespace, and I quickly made up this site for them, and this was completely free for me to do because I'm not actually making it into a real, real site. This is just free for me to design it. And what I did... Is I made them a quick little homepage, and I literally took everything in here off of their original uh, original website. Uh, so it says, "Well, we pay tribute every day to those who went before us." Blah blah blah. I got that directly off of their original website. So I'm not really doing that much work. I'm literally copy and pasting and adding some different photos. 
all I'm doing. And this is a template website that is made for restaurants. And to me, it's one of my, it's honestly looks beautiful. One of my favorite things. It looks really good. And then they already have some pre, uh, some photos in here that were, are, were already up there. And then I just added their logo and this isn't their menu, but uh, you know, so what I would do is I would actually either one, send them a link if you have, um, depending if you're a social media marketer or a good thing to do is just to say client is to own a domain that it doesn't really mean anything. Like you can own a domain that's just www dot, you know, yyzz.com doesn't matter. And just transfer this over to the, to, to that domain. You can do something like that if you'd like. Um, I think also on Squarespace, you can just have, you know, it could say explore cafe at uh, dot squarespace dot com type of thing. You want to export this website. You want to be able to to show it to them and have them actually be able to scroll through it. Because when they see something like this, they're gonna be like, "Wow, this guy put a lot of work into making this for us." And no matter what, honestly, I think, in my personal opinion, that even if I just sent them this, I would get them as a client. Uh, because e this website is already 10 times better than their website. <laughs> I mean, what, again, you're thinking, you're looking at a restaurant, which one would you go to? If you were basing it completely off their website, would you go to that one or this one? This one or this one? Same exact business. Even the, It's even the same writing. It's going to be the same menu, but how it's set up, how it all looks visually is completely different. So I would go, so I put in here uh, in the presentation, your new site could look like this. Another great thing that I like to do is I would actually, which I, I should have done before I, I put this up here, is in, instead of saying your, your new site looks like this, this is great if you're printing this off and sending it to them, which I do uh, do if they don't reply to me. But if I'm not printing it off, a better thing would have been to do is to actually make this a video of you scrolling through the site uh, just just a, a quick screen recording if you've got if you're using Mac I, I can't do it right now because I'm using it right now but you just go to new screen recording you click on quick time player new screen recording and simply go over here and I would just go onto the site and scroll through it slowly get that out of the way there we go I would just slowly scroll through they would take a look at it and they'd be like oh my god look at this site this looks beautiful and they would see that their logo is on here and they would see everything that it is that you've done for them and it would really give them a lot more incentive to bring you on as a client this did not take me long at all i'm telling you guys this website literally 15 minutes maybe in order to get this website done and set it and, and to yeah to completely finish it off because when it's a template website when you're using something like squarespace wix uh oh god there's so many different places now that have just templates. I personally use WordPress for a lot of my sites. So even WordPress has different templates that you can use. It's a lot more customizable than something like this. But if you're a beginner and you're just trying to fire something off quick, Squarespace it up or Wix again, whatever you choose, and you can get a website done really quickly. So I put that in there. And then what I, I haven't actually gone any further than this because beyond this, it's kind of repetitive. You're going to do the same thing for Instagram. You're going to screenshot Instagram and tell them what's wrong with their Instagram page. And then this is where things start to get a little bit more important. What you want to do is you want to start talking about their target audience. Now, again, I haven't put anything on here. So you want to start to maybe talk to them about what it is that you would go for or, or, or even ask them some questions. Say, hey, I want to know more about your business. I want to know who you feel your target audience is. You know, when's your peak hours? Things like that. You want to get to know the business a little bit more. And also, this is when you can start to show yourself off after this. Uh, you can start to talk about the process of it. Again, I haven't put any, anything in here, but this is completely all in the template. So if I were to switch this up, because I didn't want to make this video crazy, crazy long. We're already getting up there pretty good. So what I would put in the process is what your process is as a marketing agency. So step one for me would be switch up the website. Very first thing. Um, and I can put a screenshot again of the website right, right here with the old one on it. Step one, I'm going to switch up the website. Step two, uh, I'm going to redo your social media platforms and for all we know depending on how open they are maybe get them a new logo or at least get them a higher quality one uh, it's pretty pixelated I'm not a fan of this logo but they might be absolutely completely in love with it so step two we're going to you know redo your Facebook page and um, reply back to everybody we're gonna start replying back to everybody's comments you know all that stuff 
And step three, we're going to start to gain you more followers and get you more engagement with your, with your posts. Or I'm going to come in with my photographer. I'm going to take all the photos for your business and start to really ramp up your social media along with your Google page. Cause uh, posting constantly on Google now is becoming more and more important as Google is really pushing their new photos and stuff. Uh, if you Google up, up a business, the most recent photos are going to come up on that business. So you want to make sure that those are high quality photos, up to date photos showing people that business. And then here, what I would start to talk about is if you have existing clients, I would switch this all up to say, these are my existing clients. Uh, you know, I've worked with X amount of businesses we've done. I've gained X amount of followers for them. Um, we've gained X amount of reviews for businesses, whatever. This is where you'd put that in. And it's funny guys, you got to understand that once you've done all this, once you get these bottom slides done, uh, these last, whatever, it's going to be like, you know, not, not even 10 slides down at the bottom. Those are set for the rest of your consulting career type of thing. Like you obviously switch them up the more you become popular, but when you set this up, all you're really switching every time you're doing this is the first few slides and it's not a lot this is always probably gonna stay the same that you're just gonna switch up the logo and the background photo and uh, for whatever business and same thing here problem the problems a lot of times honestly could be the exact same they might be the exact same problem the exact same solution depending on what businesses that you're working with in your area and you're just screenshotting and throwing in stuff it's not very hard so like I said, these are all going to end up being the same, but let's keep going down here. You want them to know about your team. This is very important. I, 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 I just quickly did this here at our business media. We have compiled a small yet extremely talented team to dominate your online presence. That is a quick to the point statement. And I would throw in uh, a photo of my photographer, my editor and myself quick and easy. Make it seem like it's a, you know, a quick little three person team. Even if you, don't have a team you can just put it in yourself or maybe you do have a team or maybe you want to make it seem like you have a team I don't care what you do put in some some stuff here I, I really enjoy actually how they have this set up try and make sure that the photos all look the same if you can notice that the editing style is kind of the same on each photo you don't you don't want it to be too off and then you talk about each person and uh, you know this is an awesome little thing here how they've got skill a skill B skill C I love it I absolutely love this 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 whole uh, quick template on here that Google has. It makes it so easy for a consultant to just whip this together and throw this out there. So to me, this is one of the absolute easiest things that you guys can do. And you just talk to your, your team. Uh, I mean, if I was going to talk about my, my editor, I, you know, I'd say creative skills, a hundred percent, you know, 90% or whatever. Uh, and I make the ones that they're lower in, I would make it just something funny, you know, um, social skills or something like that put it at like a 10 something that is, is a little bit more joking for them and so then now that we've got this whole presentation down what are we gonna do how are we gonna send it over to them? you got a few options here you can send it to them on Facebook message you want to talk to them on Facebook because that's something that one you can see if they open it Two, if they don't open it then you have that information to talk to them about later be like hey I sent you something on Facebook I noticed you didn't even open it uh, whatever so there's that and also email you can find the business email um, the owner's email whatever you can call in and you can try and talk to the owner and say hey I'm just looking to you know send you something over I was hoping I could get your email or what I like to do is if they don't reply to me once I've reached out to them Facebook email I walk in there with this presentation that's the best part about it print it off and you can bring it right to them and be like, Hey, I sent you this presentation online or even, I mean, memory sticks are getting so small. Now you can give them a memory stick with it on there. I want you to go check this out. If you, if you, if you could, it's a really good presentation that I made for you. Uh, that just talks about your business, a few things that I really think you guys can improve on. And that's it. One thing you're going to notice on here, I don't talk about prices and packages on my presentation. You definitely can. If you'd like to, I personally have chosen not to, as I like to introduce myself, talk to them, kind of get to know it. I like to bring up prices and stuff when I'm in person, because if they have any objections, I can counteract it versus them going home, looking at it and being like, oh, that's too much. Nope. And just shutting it down right away and not replying. I much rather be able to talk to them, explain to them why my price is what it is, why it's worth it, why they should be going with me. 
instead of having them be able to think about it at home and shut it down. So I personally chose chose not to to do that um, in my actual presentation. One of my favorite tactics to do with this, like I talked about earlier, is to record the whole presentation and I put myself in the screen so you can actually see me talking, you can see me talking to them and tell them about each thing. So that way I can explain to them what's going on versus just the text. I mean, yes, this gets the the this gets the point across, you know, the text that I put in here. But one thing that one of my teachers actually in high school always told me that when you're doing a presentation, bullet points are better than having full paragraphs. That way you can actually explain the situation. You're just using the bullet points as a reference and nothing more. So I do enjoy really putting myself into the video that I send them or into the presentation. You can, again, like I said, um, you can record over voiceover all of this. You're able to actually do that in here. Um, kind of like a, depending if you've been to college or not, I know college professors love to do that, at least if you've ever done an online course. Um, you record over each slide, you can tell them, explain to them what you're talking about, and also you can, that way you can kind of use your mouse too if you really want. Uh, you can really explain to them everything that you are trying to get across to them. So those are kind of my tips and tricks when it comes to getting a social media marketing or a consulting client in general. This was, again, a bit of a longer video. I've got no clue how long we've been going for now. I hope that you've stuck to the end and I hope you got a lot of good information out of this. If you guys have any questions at all, please do not feel, do not feel free. Feel free to message me on Instagram or, or on Facebook. I normally get back to people on Instagram more than anything else. And also, if you would like to check out my social media marketing course, if you enjoy the way I teach, if you enjoy the way that I talk about this, I have a link in the description down below. You can check out my social media marketing course, which goes over things like this in order to get yourself more clients when it comes to social media marketing or consulting again guys i want to thank you all so much for watching this video if you have any questions hit me up and i will see you all tomorrow